Hey everyone, my name is Deep Patadia, and I'm currently a pulmonary critical care fellow at Mount Sinai St. Luke's, Mount Sinai West, and Mount Sinai Beth Israel in New York City. Now to continue our mechanical ventilation lecture series, we're going to be talking about the cycle variable. So we've talked about the trigger, we've talked about the target, now it's time to talk about cycle. Cycle is how to end inspiration. So how do you tell a ventilator to stop delivering a breath? A breath would continue indefinitely in a ventilator unless a particular variable told it to stop delivering your breath. What's that variable? That's the cycle variable. Now what are your cycle variables? You have volume cycle, time cycle, pressure cycle, and flow cycle. Now we're going to go a little bit in depth into each of these different types of cycles, but just to briefly define them. What is volume cycle? Volume cycle means inspiration will continue until a set volume has been delivered. For example, if I've set it to 500 cc's, once 500 cc's has been delivered, boom, stops delivering a breath. What about time cycle? In time cycle, the vent will continue to deliver breath until a certain time has elapsed. So for example, if I've set it to 1.2 seconds, once 1.2 seconds has elapsed, boom, stops delivering a breath. What about pressure cycle? In pressure cycle, you set it a pressure cycle, which is usually a backup safety mechanism. Once the pressure exceeds 60 centimeters of water, boom, stops delivering a breath. Why continue to deliver a breath if the pressure is exceeding so high above 60? So as a safety mechanism, you use that to save yourself from possible barotrauma. And finally is flow cycle. Now flow cycle is conceptually the most difficult to understand. So I'll define it, but we'll go in depth in it in a bit. Flow cycle terminates a breath until the flow reaches a certain percentage of the peak inspiratory flow. We'll talk about what that means in a minute. But let's go over time cycle. The definition is inspiration will continue until a set time has elapsed. So interestingly enough, in pressure control ventilation, the cycle variable is time. As we can see, we're in pressure control. So just to recap, what is our target variable in pressure control ventilation? It's pressure. Now the cycle variable in pressure control is time. I had alluded to this before. So here we can see the amplitude is exactly set. This is our target variable pressure. It's exactly the same height. However, the duration of each breath is exactly the same. Why? Because each breath is exactly 0.9 seconds. In the Puritan Bennett, here's your target variable, and this has set the duration or the inspiratory time to 0.48 seconds. Let's talk about volume cycle. The definition again is inspiration will continue until a set volume has been delivered. So interestingly enough, in volume control ventilation, the cycle variable is volume. So let's take a look here. We have pressure, we have flow here. As you can see, the cycle variable has been set to 500 milliliters. So once 500 cc's has been delivered, boom, it stops delivering a breath. So let's take a look at this. Here we can see we're in volume control as well. And our cycle variable is here, 500 cc's. So once 500 hits here, it stops delivering a breath. Just scan up. 500 cc's, it stops delivering a breath. 500 cc's, it stops delivering a breath. So in volume control ventilation, the cycle variable is volume. Now flow cycle, this is the one that's a little bit more involved, so let's discuss it. Here's a definition. The vent will continue to deliver a breath until the flow reaches a certain percentage of the peak inspiratory flow. Now what mode of ventilation uses flow as the cycle variable? Pressure support, not pressure control, Pressure support ventilation uses flow as a cycle variable. So let's take a look here. Here's a mode of ventilation. It's pressure support or CPAP mode. Now, just to recap, in this mode of ventilation, there is no respiratory rate because everything is triggered by the patient. We're in pressure support. So as a result, we have a pressure support of 18 over five. Now, here we can see 
the inspiratory cycle off set to 20%. The inspiratory cycle off, or the ICO, is a variable that you set to determine the duration of the breath. Here it's set to 20%. What does that mean? Again, the cycle variable in pressure support is flow. So we look at the peak inspiratory flow here. This is what we regard 100%. Once the flow reaches this set amount or 20% of your peak inspiratory flow, there's cycling of the breath. It means you stop inspiration. Now here's a question for you. Let's say I increase this value to 40%. What would happen to the duration of the breath? So that means that the breath would cycle around here, which is 40%, and the breath would actually be shorter. The inspiratory time would decrease. If you change this inspiratory cycle off of the ICO to 5%, the breath would extend out until here, it would be 5%, and you would prolong this breath. So a way to manipulate inspiratory time in pressure support ventilation is by manipulating the flow cycle or the ICO or the inspiratory cycle off. So a quick refresher here, you have two patients on the left and the right. I want you to pause the video and let me know what you think the ICO is on both these patients. Pause the video now. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Here's our pressure scalar, here's our flow scalar. So the way we determine the ICO or the inspiratory cycle off is by looking at the flow scalar, determining what 100% is, which is right here. So right here is where the breath stops, right around here. So right here, I would say this is about 50% of the peak inspiratory flow. So ICO here, I would say is 50%. Let's contrast that with here. Here's 100%. And over here, they're cycling the breath right around here. So here, the ICO is 1% because it's 1% of the peak inspiratory flow. That's it for the cycle variable. Why don't you join us for our next video to discuss the baseline phase.